Go Nichiwa, I mean, and Sisakura, and you're watching Pocket Cons. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a Game Boy game. And that is Info Genius Systems. Uh, see if I say this right. Berlatz Spanish Translator. It's a Spanish translator for the Game Boy. Now we get to uh, see how it works, and uh, very curious. As always, 10 minutes to play the game. First, I'm playing a game of version of And the Skip everything. Let's get the timer started. Time to start it, and away we go. I guess I shouldn't um, say it's a game. It's an app, all right? Um, apparently, there's one also for French as well, so I'll have to get that one for fun. Okay, let's go to English to Spanish. Wow, okay. Words, phrases, numbers, and conversations. I was not expecting it to be that. Okay, well, let's go with words. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're into words. Words. Well, let's just see. We're making it an easy one that everybody should know. Apple. Um, enter. Searching. Manzana. F. Okay, what is it? what's up with the app? I don't get the app part. Okay, so you hit start to enter, and you hit start to go back, okay? Okay, so B is delete. Okay, let's do... That's nice, I actually made sure to add those in. Good, you need those in there. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's the same word as... Uh, it is... In Portuguese, palhaço. Let's see. Palhaço. Yeah, it's the same word. Good. And that one's an M. I, I, I don't get the whole M part. Okay, so select is how you go back. Phrases. Basic. Translation. Relaxation. Shopping. Emergencies. Onde estava a banheiro? It's probably in there because that's the most important one. Where's the bathroom? Um, yes. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll have to check that out. Illness general. Call the police. Lima a la policia, por favor. Okay. Uh, I thought that'd be for the other one. Okay. Um. How do we? Oh, we use just use the PDD pad. Where's the police station? John, I love it when they when they have to adjust everything to fit the letter. I love that. John G está la comisaria de policia. Okay. Oh, okay. It's up and down. I've lost my purse. Good luck getting that back. You know, even America, you get lucky with that one. So that's kind of funny. Why? Why would you even put that in there? E perdido mi bolso. Okay, I lost my passport. You're doomed. Okay, where's my wallet? It's gone. I'm lost. Me he perdido. Yes, you are. Good luck. I mean, uh, that's pretty sad if that's the only phrase you knew how to speak in Spanish, and then, you know, you're in a Spanish country. Such as a Spanish speaking country, and that's the only phrase you know. People can look at you. Boa sorte! Uh, hablar español? Mi uh, he pedido. Tá bom. Uh, adios. Wait, wait, let me look that up real quick. Uh, a D O O. What? So, the most important one in uh, emergencies in general, which is where's the bathroom, isn't even here. All it gives you is those. Okay, that's illness. Okay, well yeah, we'll check illness. Cause, okay, can you get me a doctor? Poji llama lamar a un médico. Okay, what is the nearest hospital? Where's the nearest doctor? Really? Okay, where's the nearest dentist? Where's the nearest politician? Oh, uh, 
Optician. Okay, I thought this was a politician. Like, what? Why would you even need to know that? I'm in pain. Me do well. I'm not feeling good. Me no siento bien. Bien. <laughs> Sorry, there goes my Portuguese again. Uh, that's why my uh, Spanish 101 teacher absolutely hated me. Because I would convert back all the time and she's like don't listen to him he speaks portuguese and i don't want you letting that speak spanish while you're in here i'm sorry i'm trying we'll try harder <laughs> okay i'm allergic to penicillin that suck okay allergic okay i'm deaf Well, at least you can. Uh, okay. Huh. I'm diabetic. I'm pregnant. I feel dizzy. Okay. I have a headache. I well, yes. After too much tequila, I think you would. Okay. I have a uh, heart condition. A peacemaker. So I wrote. It's like nobody cares about the bathroom. I'm just, I'm, okay. Basics. There has to be in basics. I mean, come on. The first thing you learn in Spanish class is where's the bathroom. I mean, it's it's very important. Basics. Please. Port the door. Yes. Gracias. De nada. Tenho hambre. That's one that is completely different between Portuguese and Spanish. You know. Tenha for me. That was that's one of those I have to remember. It's completely different. Okay. Tendo said. Okay, I'm tired. Where is Don't You Stop? What? You leave it at that? Ugh. I'm so disappointed. I know, I know, it's a joke. But that's honestly is the one phrase we get to learn. Like in every comedy you watch, so where they're in a Spanish class, the first thing they learn is where's the bathroom? And where's the library? I don't know why you'd want to know where the library is. I mean, you can't speak Spanish yet, so why are you teaching them where the library is? They're not going to be able to read it. Well, that's just me. Reading languages. Okay, basics. Transportation, relaxation, eating out. Okay, let's try eating out. Seriously, if they, um, if they say that, that's going to be funny in here. Okay. <laughs> Dios de los vicios. Close enough. At least we finally got the phrase. Okay, I'm happy. I seriously, wh why would you think um, eating out would have this phrase in it? I think it would be more in the emergencies. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does not does anybody else think that that's not an emergency to know? Oh my gosh! Oh man! I mean, seriously, you roll into a shop, it's like people are like, "Okay, you stop a problema. Oh, just have a a bañero. Uh, por ahí. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Tabón. Cuidado, por favor. You know, <laughs> honestly, you're not gonna go into this uh, a restaurant and they're gonna be like, "Boa venda para aqui, um, que posso ajudar com? Onde está a banheiro? Que? Uh, por aí? You know, it's it's just one of those things where just yeah, I mean, okay, it's moving on. Uh, I like an ashtray. What? Okay. Come on, we're in a Game Boy game. That's what you're gonna put in there. Okay. I like a cup. Okay. I like a fork. Make sure it's not dirty. We don't want to make anybody mad and kill themselves with it. I like a glass. I like a cup. I like a glass. It's the same thing. Okay. I like a knife. Okay, napkin, plate, spoon. Extra chair. And that's all we get to learn. Okay, okay. 
That's so funny. I like some bacon and eggs. Quesadilla. Uh, wow, that's completely different. Okay, wow. And people wonder why I can't speak 100% uh, Spanish. Because I haven't learned all the words yet, you know? And I look at this and it's like, huh, that's completely different from what I'm saying in Portuguese. Eu queria de os. Who uh, was and uh, and now I can't remember that I put myself on the spot. Huh, that's sad. I let you all down. I'm sorry, but the timer just went off and I was watching that, so I'm gonna blame that. But anyway, it's one of those things where I should first say that um, if I didn't really eat it when I was down in Brazil. I didn't learn how to say it <clears throat> because you know it's just kind of what happens. I mean, you grow up with the language, you learn the words, even if you don't really care for the word. But when you are down there, you don't learn everything because, well, you know what you like. And because in Brazil, well, the the most I actually ate was beans and rice practically every single day. So that was one of the ones that you definitely wanted to learn, and the other things that were very common. But it's um funny to think that yeah I um I remember putting down um on my resume that I can speak Spanish you know to a point so I'd always put it down I can speak enough to help Portuguese I can actually speak a lot more because I'm more fluent in it. And then, of course, I get a call from, I think it was Home Depot, and they're like, Hi, we'd like to hire you. It's like, oh, really? Sweet. Yes, we need a Spanish-speaking uh, representative for our paint counter. What? But I don't speak that good of Spanish. Oh, but you put down you speak Spanish. I put down I speak a little bit of Spanish. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it does say right here, you do speak a little bit of Spanish. But would you like to come work for us? Like, I'd have to learn all the colors, sir. I don't know all the colors in Spanish. So unfortunately, I would not be a good candidate for that. Oh, okay. I mean, it was the weirdest uh, interview I ever had. Honestly, because it's just like, oh, you speak Spanish. And it's like, yes, a little. Did you not read your, the, the thing? You decided to let me put on little. Not fluent. Oh, but that's okay, we'll teach you. It's like, no. <laughs> it's like, geez. Um, it really was an interesting interview. And it was a phone interview, too. And also, things are weird. But, despite that, yeah, no, this is a, actually, it's good. I think it's funny um, where they're putting certain things. Or they're not asking the direct translation or so, or what people would normally say. But then that makes me wonder, is this uh, for Spanish in general? So they're doing a general Spanish, so that way if you go to Spain or you go to Argentina, if you go to Mexico or whatever, it's trying to cover its basis of this can be used in all uh, Spanish-speaking countries. Which isn't always true, because it's, um, it's kind of how you have British English and American English. If I were to go to Portugal, my Portuguese could help me live over there. However, there's a lot of, I know there's all, there are phrases and words I can't use due to the fact that they are offensive or mean something completely and utterly different. So I know that's how it is. So that's why I'm curious if this was made for general um, Spanish that everybody recognizes, or it's like, you know, your basic uh, uh, high-end or proper Spanish that they're trying to do. All in all, though, I think that this is a really cool setup, and if this was the cheapest route you could do, and you're a gamer because you just want to be cool like that, yeah, I would probably pick this up and use that. As a way, because I mean, think about it. This way, you could be like, okay, type in the word. I'm looking. For, uh, you, know, you point to the screen a bit. Oh, 
huh, ta, you know, they'll be able to help you. My question for you guys is, do you love the fact that they actually went out of their way to make things like this for the uh, video game uh, systems? It had holds. Sorry. And if so, what are some of your favorites? I say yes. Having some type of translator with you on a video game system or handheld is amazing, in my personal opinion. I think it's fantastic. Of course, mine are the My Coach series for the DS, and a couple of them that came out to the PSP. Um, I absolutely love the My Coach Spanish, or My Spanish Coach, I should say. One, they did a marvelous job on it, and that is also available for the PSP. However, the PSP sold poorly, so it's the hardest one of the two to find, which is weird. And I really want it. Hmm, sad. But I love the fact that they took the time to do these. They are a clever idea, and they're a lot of fun. Only because, let's face it, if you're pulling out your Game Boy Pocket and people are kind of like, what are you doing? One moment, so we need to know what this is, right? It's actually this. And people are like, you have a translator on your Game Boy. Why don't you? I have a book. Yes, but see, I don't have to flip through the pages. I can just type in the word and it comes up. I trump yours, because mine's cool. <laughs> but yeah, if... Out of all of them, definitely the My Coach series is one of the ones I absolutely love and highly recommend if you can get a hold of them. Because you got, I think there's a Japanese one, a French one, Spanish one, and I want to say a German maybe? I could be wrong about the German one. And then there's a Spanish to English one too, which is pretty cool. And also a little bit harder to get a hold of. <sighs> I want to get that one too. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say below. And go easy, I always put myself on the spot every so often, so yes, I don't always remember my Portuguese. I'm sad, I know. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tisa Kurosin Chow and Sayonara.